My own background is as a teacher of writing. And in the teaching of writing, I learned very early that what I needed to do was help my students access their voice. That the best writing came from a feeling on the part of the student that he or she really had something that they cared deeply about that they wanted to express. So I started introducing meditation techniques in my writing classes to help students become quiet and access that voice. I met um, Professor Ed Sarath in Ecuador and we were both there on a journey to uh, live with and learn from indigenous people about the ancient practices in the Andes Mountains, the ancient contemplative practices in the Andes Mountains. And it was through that connection and that work that some years later, Professor Sarath invited me to come to teach when the program in Creativity and Consciousness Studies was underway. For as long as I can remember, I've, I've been interested in meditation and the connection between meditation and improvisation. The way I see it, the, the main opportunity for students in a program like this is to really get in touch with their creativity, their individual voice, and um, the experience of jazz as not just a kind of form of music, musical creative expression, but kind of a vehicle for um, looking into human creativity and you might say spirituality in a broader sense. This is basically the first curriculum of its kind and if I, had a, if I had a site, a model, I would probably just look at the jazz tradition itself as a kind of an exemplar of, of that improvisation meditation connection. There's a real direct link in the jazz tradition when we have, when you look at people like uh, Alice Coltrane, John Coltrane, John McLaughlin, there's a real long tradition of major artists who were creative innovators in music as well as um, very seriously interested in contemplative meditation and contemplative practice. So I thought it was a real natural fit for the, um, for the, for the uh, university curriculum in jazz. The curriculum is basically um, a full slate of music studies that would um, go with any kind of major in music and 20 to 25 uh, credits of um, contemplative based studies which means classes that include meditation and or theoretical studies and um, students take some of the, some of these classes are offered in the jazz department others are offered in areas like psychology philosophy cultural studies and areas like that you know i can write music about what i'm learning in my anthropology of art class or i can write music about what i'm learning um, in my creativity and consciousness class my goals for the students in the classes are that they access their own sense of what they would like to do with their lives and their creative capacity. Uh, the courses are open to students throughout the university and there is a kind of cross-fertilization that happens in the classes with students from different disciplines who share together their varied interests and in that way the students can develop a deeper sense of their life path and the work that they are here at the university to learn and what it is they are really seeking for their own creative life. Now I do a meditative drum warm-up which has increased my technical facility drastically which I got from I got the idea from from different 
uh, creativity and consciousness practices in this program. So all these things inform the music and the music informs the life. <laughs>